From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Slate and networking. Hello, I'm Yasuni Jimenez, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Elizabeth Ferreira. Professional networking is something Cal State San Bernardino strongly encourages all their students to do. Reporter Rango Zarate speaks with CSUSB President Tomas Di Morales about his views on networking. In an ever-changing professional environment, expanding your circle of influence is an excellent way to showcase your professional repertoire. Unlike past generations, today's market expects and requires students to engage in professional networking. You know, students have to develop a a portfolio of experiences. And those experiences include internship opportunities, service learning opportunities, perhaps a study abroad experience. And in all of those experiences, you're networking. I actually joined a fraternity by the name of Gamma Zeta Alpha, and uh, that was where I really found a, a great network and a support group of individuals that were there to help me uh, along with my not just undergraduate career, but professional career. There's no substitution for your ability and your willingness to work hard. I mean, I, my, my advice to students is uh, be the first in the office and the last to leave, and you will be successful, regardless of the field that you're in. Another good uh, trick for just business-wise and networking is, you know, say you have a business card, you give them a business card, or you get their email and their number, make sure you just follow up with them. Along with building your professional brand, some patience, and learning along the way, professional networking will lead you one step closer to landing your dream job. For Local Matters, I'm Rangel Zorati. Entering the film industry has many obstacles in showing off your work. The nonprofit organization Slate, located in Redlands, helps local filmmakers do just that. Reporter Erica Lamuth tells us more. Here in Redlands, California, local filmmakers and beer enthusiasts gather at the annual Redlands Film and Beer Festival, which is running its second year. Hosted at various locations, the Redlands Film and Beer Festival hopes to bring filmmakers in the IE into the spotlight. The purpose of this event and purpose of Slate is to get media arts out there and more accessible to everybody and allow them to achieve goals and visions and dreams and things like that, while at the same time, having cool atmospheres like this where you can have some beer and watch some film. We started the nonprofit in 2012 and the goal was to do some film festival at some point. And one of our panelists, Daniel Petrie Jr. said, everyone's got a film festival, what's gonna make yours different? And I was sitting on my porch one day in Redlands and I looked around and I said, there's like three breweries here in town and they're all really good. Apart from highlighting local breweries, Slate hopes to find a media arts lab in downtown San Bernardino with support from the public and featured filmmakers. I think it's awesome. I think for it being a second year, I think it's it's really, really good, good location. Um, it's just going to go up from there. My film is called The Dance. It's, uh, it's a story about a young woman who begins to experiment with drugs. So it's the story of an introduction into an addiction. Seeing that we made the film here in Riverside, not too far away from Redlands, so I figured why don't not submit there and see how it does. Filmmaking in the Inland Empire is on the rise, and it's events like this that provide local filmmakers an outlet to premiere their work. The beer is just a bonus. For Local Matters, I'm Erica Luma. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, check out our Facebook and YouTube page. I'm Elizabeth Ferreira. And I'm Yesenia Jimenez. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.